Worship lies at the heart of the Christian life. It is worship and through worship that we express our theology and define our identity. It is through encountering God within worship that we are formed and transformed as God's people. And today on the first Sunday of Lent, our liturgy will be from the Taze. Those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High abide under the shadow of the Almighty. They shall say to the Holy One, You are our refuge and our stronghold. Jesus said, The first commandment is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most holy and merciful God, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of the saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Our past unfaithfulness the pride, hypocrisy, and impatience of our lives. We confess to you, O God. Our self-indulgence and our exploitation of others, our anger at our own frustration, and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. We confess to you, O God. For all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts toward our neighbors, and for our prejudice, and contempt toward those who differ from us. Accept our repentance, O oh God. For our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, O oh God. Restore us, holy God, and let your anger depart from us. Favorably hear us, for your mercy is great. 
May the eternal God forgive us and free us from our sins. Heal and strengthen us by the Holy Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations, and as us who are, you know, the weaknesses of each of us. Let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading this morning is a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. When you have come into the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance to possess, and you possess it and settle in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you harvest from the land that the Lord your God is giving you, and you shall put it in a basket and go to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. You shall go to the priest who is in office at that time and say to him, Today I declare to the Lord your God that I have come into the land that the Lord swore to our ancestors to give us. When the priest takes the basket from your hand and sets it down before the altar of the Lord your God, you shall make this response before the Lord your God. A wandering Aramean was my ancestor. He went down into Egypt and lived there as an alien, few in number. And there he became a great nation, mighty and populous. When the Egyptians treated us harshly and afflicted us by imposing hard labor on us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our ancestors, The Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. The Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, 
with a terrifying display of power and with signs and wonders. And he brought us into this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So now I bring the first of the fruit of the ground that you, O Lord, have given me. You shall set it down before the Lord your God and bow down before the Lord your God. Then you, together with the Levites and the aliens who reside among you, shall celebrate with all the bounty that the Lord your God has given to you and to your house. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will read our psalm responsively, breaking at the asterisk. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our second reading is from Romans. The word is near you, on your lips, and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our third reading this morning is from the Gospel of Luke. After his baptism, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority. For it has been given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem, and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every test, He departed from him until an opportune time. The word of the Lord. It is at this time in the Taze service that instead of a sermon, we have a period of silence where we reflect prayerfully on the words that we have heard today from Scripture.
As children of God, let us stand and affirm our faith. We believe in God, creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of our sister Mary, baptized by John the Baptist, filled with the Holy Spirit to preach the kingdom of God to the poor, to heal the sick, to receive to revive Israel for the salvation of the nations and to have mercy upon all people. Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We pray to the Eternal One for the courage to give up other things and to give ourselves in service to Christ. Give your church the courage to give up her preoccupation with herself and to give more time to your mission in the world. We pray for those in need especially Barbara Mensch, Anita Hewlett, Kathy Farwell, Janet Hinson, Charles Roy Anderson, Moksha Efsi, Todd Nader, Irene Thomas, Brian Lee, Amy and Tim, Avery and Cushel, Linda Gresham, Jenny, Mary Ann, <coughs> the people of Ukraine, and any others you would like to add. May the wounds of Jesus bring forgiveness to your people and help us to face the cost of proclaiming salvation. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Give your world the courage to give up war, bitterness, and hatred, and to seek peace. We pray especially for those affected by Ukraine and Russia conflict, our world leaders, and any others you might like to add. May the shoulders of the risen Jesus once scourged by soldiers, bear the burden of political and military conflict in our world. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give, Give us strength, strength and hear our prayer. Give us the courage to give up quarrels, strife, and jealousy in our families, neighborhoods, and communities. We pray for any need within our community and others you wish to add. May the presence of the risen Jesus, his body once broken and now made whole, bring peace and direction as we live with one another. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Give us the courage to give up our fear of death 
and to rejoice with those who have died in faith. Especially we hold in our minds Anne Hogan, Kay Overflett, and others you wish to add. May the feet of the risen Lord Jesus, once nailed to the cross, walk alongside the dying and bereaved in their agony and walk with us and all your church through death to the gate of glory. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Give us the courage to love another, spread happiness before judgment, and any others you wish to add. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Artist of souls, you sculpted a people for yourself out of the rocks of wilderness and fasting. Help us as we take up your invitation to prayer and simplicity, that the discipline of these 40 days may sharpen our hunger for the feast of your holy friendship and whet our thirst for the living water you offer through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hear these and all the longings of our hearts, O God, whose reign is not distant, but breaking in among us. Give us time and space to find new identity, to let go of control and walk the pilgrim way through Jesus Christ, the good news of salvation. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. God's peace. God's peace. has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Bow your hearts before the Lord our God. Grant, most merciful Lord, 
to your faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen.